All right, a company contacted me and asked me if I wanted a free pair of boots and if I could wear them in my videos. So, I guess I will. All right, that's the name of the company. I probably should have asked how to pronounce it. It looks like high C to me, but I don't know. It could be high C. Uh, <laughs> oh, is that terrible or what? Well, let's check them out. All right. Box was a little tricky dicky. Oh, what's that? Cell phone protector. Okay. Bonus. Oh, here we go. Told him I wanted the camo. Um, I got on their website earlier and uh, before I even opened the box, and these do come with a lifetime warranty. Obviously, probably wear and tear. I need to contact the company and get a little more detail on that. Um, but I did see lifetime warranty. Oh, there's something to pop. And lifetime warranty is a big deal. That's. You find me one better than that. Find me a two lifetime warranty and then we'll talk. But that's about as good as it gets. So let's try these suckers on. Pretty good looking boot. Uh, feels like a neoprene kind of top. Um, and then a rubber bottom. Um, how most of your modern boots are made. Tab at the back so you can hang them or pull them up when you're putting them on. Imagine that, they sent me two boots, one for each foot. Make sure there ain't no, okay. Wait, there's something down in there. So that means there might be something down in here. No, not that I can feel. Anyways, there you go. I was at the store the other day and I had a brand new pair of pants on. Apparently it had a tag on the back and the woman was like, can I tear that tag off? I'm like, yeah. Ooh, that feels good on my foot. Feels snug as a bug in a rug. Um, the only thing I can tell you is like the, these, these just fit. They're my size and they just fit. If you're going to wear big thicker uh winter type socks these are basically military socks boot socks um i would get a half size bigger probably that's the only thing i can tell you but if you want them to just fit like these do then i would get the exact size you wear all right and these are reasonably priced i mean i think they were like I don't know, $55 or something like that. So, yeah, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is just sport them for a couple days and see how things go. Um, but I can tell you just from wearing them here in the living room, the man cave, you know, as evidenced by the deer heads and the recliners and, and the farm all pillows. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'll let you know. The old back blade did a pretty good job plowing the driveway. You can see some of it's down to the gravel and stone. What happens though is we had a warmer day the following day and it left about an eighth to a quarter of an inch of whatever you want to call it and it just essentially turned to ice. So I had my lacrosse boots out the other day and I was slipping and sliding and these seem to grip a little bit better on the ice. Of course they're brand new boots, they should. Um, the point of today's video, it's real simple. So last night I have a cellular camera set up right here. Last night I saw a buck out here in what is the clover patch uh, or the clover food plot. But, uh, I mean, obviously there's about a foot and a half of snow there and I am going to walk out there because what happened was is he come across here running and I'll show you the cell cam picture I got. It's blurry because he's doing a million miles an hour. 
and then he gets right here and he stops. So I get up out of the chair because I got a bling notification and I'm watching him. And it's a buck that I'm very familiar with. And, you know, we name them all. We're weird, but we do. And we have our reasons. But anyways, I see him here. He's got both antlers. And then he gets back here. The season ended Monday. So I went Tuesday morning and got uh, some food and put a camera on that. I'll explain when I get over there. And then all of a sudden he picks his head up and he's one antler short of a full rack. So I'm going to come out here. I do remember seeing him in here in about the middle of the corn and he still had both antlers. So, and I wasn't even thinking that they were going to shed because even in the second, third week of January, it's still kind of early to be shed hunting, but I am going to look for that shed real quick. So let's take a walk out here. You can see the... And it's going to be real interesting to see how warm these boots are because I can tell you it's 15 degrees right now. And uh, the only thing cold on me is my nose. So, now, here's my cell camera. Uh, this is a Browning. Uh, very, very good cameras. I wouldn't hesitate to get more of them. And I will get more of them. But uh, bulletproof. Really, really... I mean, there's no, like with the spy points, the difference is with the spy points, you have to do manual firmware updates. With these, they just push it to the camera, done deal. Anyways, he was, you can see all these deer tracks and stuff. So this is the main, I guess, sort of trail where they ingress, egress, whatever. So he come out like so. And he kind of veered that way, but I think he come in this way. And then veered that way. And you can see they're digging. It's, it's rough on them because this hard layer gets basically a I don't know an inch or two of ice and well picture yourself out having to scavenge for food oh they're made for it yeah well they have winter kill every year so they ain't that made for it and uh, you guys should remember if you've been with the channel long enough that uh, this is all an all volunteer growth food plot and it did produce corn and there's still corn left on it I was like you know what let's let's run an experiment um, if you go to my farm all M videos in that playlist you'll see I'm disking this and I don't know it's probably oh it's a good two and a half maybe three acre patch just here and then on the other side is beans and that's probably two acres so and then there's this I did that's where I did the recovery with the 400 but Oh, let's look for this shed. He had to have dropped it between, I figure, about right here in that bridge. No no questions asked because, like I said, I looked out the kitchen window and he was fully racked. And then when I got the, the bling on my phone, the notification, <clears throat> he was missing half his side. And I'll show you that right now. I'll show you, I'll show you a picture of him with and without the antler. So, I was betting, man, I'd say, kind of walk through here like this. Ish. Well, ow, ow. You know, and the thing of it is with a foot and a half of snow or a, about 14 to 16 inches of snow, he could have dropped that antler and five other deer came and covered it up. It's hard to see a white antler in white snow. Yeah. 
They can smell that corn they're digging down. Diver down. Nobody picked up on that. Couldn't believe it in that last video. I dropped the blade. Oh, the box, you opened it. We came. Nobody got that either. I was like, what movie was that from? Back in the 90s. All right. I'm just glancing. These stalks are beanless, as they should be by now. Like I say, today's January 21st. And stuff. And they're digging there. Got another buck that shed too, but wow, this looks like a bomb dump. I dumped this food out here, 100 pounds, about oh four or five days ago, and then there's the cell camera. That's that is a spy point, and it looks like the deer moved it with their. Oh, and would you look at here? Huh? Wow, and there's blood right here. Blood, 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 blood. Antler. There you go. Yep, and that's a fresh drop. That's I don't know, 12, 18 hours ago. And this is this is a two-year-old buck, a buck we call Gimpy. He wasn't legal. We wouldn't have shot him anyway. We don't shoot two-year-olds. But yeah, you can see. Um, huh. So he must have dropped it there, and then came here and stood. And, and they do bleed a little bit um, after they drop them. But, uh, huh. So there you go. Big old brow tine on there. Be interesting to see what he turns into. As a yearling, he was shot in the hoof. We didn't do it. Um, we don't we don't shoot at running deer. Uh, anywhere else you go in the in the nation, uh, if you pay to hunt on a ranch or something, you're, you know... Shooting at a at a moving animal will get you uninvited quickly, but I'm happy to find this I'd like to find the other shed and then put it on a uh, oh I don't know one of them artificial euro mounts, but uh, Yeah, pretty cool Glad to find it. Oh, it does have a little little bit of something there that I never noticed, but uh, Yep And as far as these boots, I will put a link in the description down below if you're interested um 55 bucks you shouldn't need a discount code if there is one i'll still offer it but right now uh for the little bit of walking i have done yeah these these are my these are my sporters this is what i'm wearing but there you go that's gimpy